Hello and welcome to the sixth lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the offset command. In order to activate the offset command, we can click on this icon over here in the Getting Started toolbar, or we could go to Tools and click on the Offset tool over here, or we could press F on keyboard to activate the offset. So I press F on keyboard, and this will activate the offset command. And when I hover my cursor on a face, you can see it. Uh, there will be a lot of blue dots on that face. So this indicates that we can now offset that face. So there are three ways to offset inside of SketchUp. The first way, it's just like the line that we described in the line session. Uh, there are three ways to draw a line. It's the same over here for the offset. So you can first uh, left click and then hold the left mouse button and then move your cursor to whichever position you want to right or the left of that face and then I will release the mouse button when I'm satisfied with the length of that offset. The second way to draw an offset is to click once and then move your cursor and then click once again to confirm that offset. The third way to draw an offset is to click once and then move your cursor in or out and then type a value like 0.5 for uh, 50 centimeters or a half a meter. These are the three ways that you can use to create offsets inside of SketchUp. So now I will make a copy of this and if I want to delete an offset that we created, we could just double click on that face and then uh, hit delete on our keyboard and this will delete that offset. I can do that again. And also if I want to uh, delete an outer edge of this offset, or well, let me just offset it again, like uh, we can have uh, half a meter on the outside. So I will double click and then hold Control Shift and double click in the inner face. And this will deselect the lines of that curve. And now when I press delete, this will delete the lines, the outer lines, and also the face of that offset. So what if we want to uh, create multiple offsets? There are a couple of ways that we can uh, create that offsets. The first way is to click once and then move your cursor and then type uh, half a meter, for example, and then uh, move it in again and then click and type half a meter. And as you can see, it's very time consuming to do that all over again. So there is another option uh, that SketchUp has uh, created for us. And that is if we double click on a face, this will create an offset as the same length as the previous offset that we did. So I will double click on this face. And as you can see, it created an offset with a half a meter. And if I double click again, you can see that it starts making a lot of offsets inside. And if we offset from the outside like this, and now if I double click, this will create an offset in the outer direction. So now what if we want to offset a single line? You can see that it gives us a no crossing sign and we cannot offset a single line inside of SketchUp. But if we have more than a line, like we have two lines or more, now we can offset that lines. So I can press F, First, select whichever lines you want to offset, and then press F on keyboard to activate the offset tool, and then you can now offset with the length that you want. All right, let me make a copy of this over here. Now we can also select the whole connected lines, and now we can press F on keyboard for the offset, and now we can move our cursor to the right or to the left of that line, and we could type a value, like for example, half a meter and this will create an offset and if I want to create multiple offsets it would not be the same as the face so we need to first select the last offset that we have created and then now we can press F and then double click on that line so triple click offset and then double click to make that offset again another important thing to keep in mind is that Offset only works in SketchUp in a 2D plane. So you can see that all these lines are located on the, on the red and the green axis, or in the X and Y axis. 
So if we have a line, for example, in the blue axis like this, connected to these lines, as you can see, and if I triple click on these, and now if I want to offset, you can see that it deselects all the lines. Or for example, this is very crucial to keep in mind, uh, because if we move this uh, vertex up, for example, uh, one millimeter, it will not be noticeable. But if we triple click and hit offset, you can see that it deselects these lines. This is because this point or this vertex is not at the same height of these other vertices. So I will, I can now only offset these two lines because uh, these two lines are are on the same plane, or I can offset these two lines, or I can move this vertex to the same height of this one. And now I can offset it, offset this line again. So what if we want to offset a curved face, a face like this? This would not be possible inside of SketchUp. So if I press F on keyboard to activate the offset command, you can see that it gives us a no crossing sign and we cannot offset this face. So if I go to view, and click on show hidden geometry, you can see that as we mentioned before, uh, that offset only works on a single face or a single plane. So this cylinder is made up of several rectangles to create that curved face. So now if we have activated the hidden geometry, now we can press F on keyboard to activate the offset command. And now we can offset any of these faces that we want. So for example, we will assign 30 centimeters for this one and then double click to create that offset again. So sometimes it happens that you will make an offset which is a little bit larger than the previous one. This was accidentally, so you want to have it like 30 centimeters like the previous one. So uh, you could just hit Control Z on keyboard and then click on this face again and then click on this endpoint over here. This will create an offset which is the same length as the previous face. And now we can double click again to create these offsets. This concludes the sixth lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.